This is our cat, Shiro. And as you can see, I've trained her to ride on my own shoulder. Now, I've been trying to get cats to ride on my shoulders for years. Since I was in college, I guess, I've been trying to get cats to ride on my shoulders with varying degrees of success. But never have I had a cat as successful at riding on shoulders as this one is. She'll stay up here forever. It's great. And I think that the key is it's this hair that I've got. See, I'm, see, that's the trick. I can use the hair to get her to perch on the back, and then she'll stay up there and just gnaw it away on my, on my ponytail forever. It's just great. I have a shoulder-riding cat. Now, see, by comparison, here's a little cat. She just doesn't, you know, she just doesn't like it. She's perched here on the edge, always just basically looking for that chance to jump back down. She'll sometimes stay up here for a while, but uh, she just doesn't take a cotton to it the way Shiro has. Whereas Shiro, on the other hand, she'll just stay up here forever. <laughs> like I said, it's all about the hair. Of course, I, I should admit that when I say forever, I just mean a long time, like, you know, five minutes. It, it, it just seems like forever because I'm used to the cat just climbing down so quickly. I mean, you know, she does stay up here a long time. 